In the mysterious depths of the ocean, where giants silently roam, one of the most curious creatures on Earth resides. Meet the sunfish, a colossal and unusual fish that has captured the imaginations of marine biologists and ocean lovers alike. Known for its bizarre shape, immense size, and gentle demeanor, the sunfish, also called Mola Mola, is unlike any other creature beneath the waves. At first glance, the sunfish looks almost like a swimming head, with its flattened, disc-like body and tiny fins. It is the heaviest bony fish in the world, with some individuals weighing over 2,000 kilograms, or about 4,400 pounds. Despite its size, this gentle giant moves gracefully through the water. Sunfish are members of the Molidae family, and their species name, Mola Mola, comes from the Latin word for millstone, reflecting their round, grayish body shape. Found in oceans around the world, from tropical to temperate waters, the sunfish is one of the most widespread and enigmatic fish on Earth. The sunfish's life is one of leisurely drifting. They can often be found near the surface, basking in the sun, which is how they earned their name. Scientists believe this sunbathing helps the fish regulate its body temperature after diving deep into colder waters. But why do they dive so deep? Sunfish regularly plunge down to depths of over 600 meters, around 2,000 feet, to feed on their favorite prey, jellyfish. Though jellyfish are low in calories, sunfish make up for it by consuming them in large quantities. They also feed on squid, small fish, and zooplankton when available. Their mouths are small and fused into a beak-like structure, perfect for tearing apart their gelatinous prey. But unlike most large marine creatures, sunfish are no fearsome hunters. They are slow and passive swimmers, relying on the ocean's currents to carry them to new feeding grounds. Despite their massive adult size, sunfish start out as some of the smallest creatures in the ocean. After hatching from eggs, baby sunfish, or larvae, are only a few millimeters in size, so tiny that they could easily fit on a thumbnail. What's even more remarkable is that a single female sunfish can lay up to 300 million eggs at once, making them one of the most prolific breeders in the animal kingdom. As they grow, sunfish larvae undergo a dramatic transformation. They start out covered in tiny spines, resembling pufferfish, their close relatives, but lose this appearance as they develop into adults. Over time, these tiny larvae grow exponentially, eventually reaching sizes comparable to a small car. Their growth is one of nature's true wonders. One of the most fascinating behaviors of sunfish is their relationship with smaller fish. In a form of symbiosis, sunfish visit cleaning stations where tiny fish, like wrasses, nibble off parasites and dead skin. This cleaning ritual is essential for the sunfish's health. However, for all that we know about sunfish, much of their life remains a mystery. For example, scientists still aren't sure why sunfish leap out of the water, sometimes jumping several feet into the air. Some speculate it's to rid themselves of parasites, while others think it may be a form of communication or play. What's clear is that the sunfish is full of surprises. Despite its size and awkward appearance, it is a peaceful creature with no interest in the aggressive behaviors of other marine giants like sharks or orcas. While the sunfish may seem invincible due to its sheer size, it faces a number of threats in the modern world. Sunfish are often caught accidentally in fishing nets, a phenomenon known as bycatch. In some parts of the world, they are even considered a delicacy, despite their jelly-like texture. Pollution is another major threat. Sunfish, which mistake floating plastic bags for jellyfish, can accidentally ingest this harmful debris, causing injury or death. Also, please like and subscribe for more animal content and a whole series coming straight from South Africa. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. Conservation efforts are now underway to better understand the sunfish and protect it from these dangers. Researchers are tagging and tracking sunfish to learn more about their migratory patterns, 
behavior, and how they can be better safeguarded in the future. Protecting the oceans from pollution and overfishing is key to ensuring that these gentle giants continue to thrive. The sunfish is one of the ocean's great mysteries, a strange yet beautiful reminder of how little we know about life beneath the waves. Though they move slowly and live quietly, these ocean giants play an important role in the marine ecosystem, helping control jellyfish populations and serving as a key part of the food web. An extraordinary fact about sunfish is that they spend much of their lives sunbathing at the ocean's surface after diving into deep, cold waters. They ascend to bask in the sun, warming their bodies after hunting at depths of over 600 meters, nearly 2,000 feet. This sunbathing behavior, which gives them their name, is not just for relaxation. It's a critical way for sunfish to regulate their body temperature allowing them to thrive in both warm and cold parts of the ocean. Did you know that sunfish can grow up to 10 feet tall and weigh over 5,000 pounds, yet they have no tail? Instead, they have a fin-like structure called a clavis that helps them glide through the water. Despite their massive size, these ocean giants feed mainly on jellyfish, and they're known to sunbathe at the surface to recharge after deep dives. Sunfish are known to host an extraordinary number of parasites. Over 40 different species have been recorded living on a single individual. These parasites can attach themselves to the sunfish's skin, gills, and even internal organs. To combat this, sunfish often visit cleaning stations, where smaller fish and seabirds help remove the parasites, or they breach the water's surface, possibly to shake them off. If you ate a sunfish, the experience might not be particularly appetizing. Sunfish have a gelatinous, jelly-like flesh that isn't considered flavorful or desirable in most parts of the world. In fact, their flesh has a high water content and low nutritional value. While some cultures, particularly in Japan and Taiwan, consume certain parts of the sunfish, it's typically considered a delicacy more for its rarity than its taste. It's also important to note that in some regions, eating sunfish is illegal due to conservation efforts and regulations to protect marine life. Additionally, sunfish may accumulate toxins like heavy metals from the ocean, which could pose health risks to humans. So next time you look out at the vast ocean, remember the sunfish, an awkward yet majestic creature that proves that in nature, sometimes the strangest shapes can become the most captivating wonders. Subscribe for more content like this.